Okay, in this video we have all of our angle brackets positioned where they go. And we put three lag bolts at each, each step. And it's not a bad idea. If it's the first time you're doing it, you're not used to it. It wouldn't be a bad idea to write top or put a little B for the bottom. Um, because you don't want to be laying these things out and then, you know, accidentally put one on like that, you know, and, and again, or screw them all on like that. I've just, I've never done it myself, um, but I could just imagine it happening. So again, it's not a bad idea to put a couple of marks, you know, and scribble out any marks that, you, that you're not going to use so you don't get confused and slide the bracket over here. So again... Scribble out some marks, write whatever you got to, and you're not going to hurt, it's not going to hurt writing anything in this area here where the tread's going to go and cover it up anyway. So, and if you were going to stain something like this, you're not going to want any pencil marks. You're going to need to use a template if that's the case, and I will go over that in another video. Um, either that or you bolt your brackets on, then you're going to have to sand all your pencil marks off. So again, lay out your brackets, lay out your angle brackets, get your bolts, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, leg screw them in here. And again, like I said, don't forget, if you want to get some small nails and nail these in and then screw them in, go for it. Because a lot of times when you're screwing the lag in, if I just get put this in my impact wrench and start screwing it in, it'll pull it. It'll pull it. It'll if it If it just... If it's just slightly off of this grain, it'll go right into the grain and go into go in at an angle, whichever direction this grain is going, which the grain's going this way. So it wouldn't be uncommon for this thing just to slip and turn. I've had them turn and go in at a steep angle, and there's really nothing you can do about it. 